Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am live streaming on YouTube. It's only 730 in the morning, and I know that this actually doesn't start until eight o'clock, um, but I'm trying this feature out for future professional developments over the next couple of weeks to see if this works and if we can have PD presenters do this as well. So uh, good morning. My name is Karen Woods, and I'm the Director of Educator Development for the district. Uh, I want to officially welcome you back to a new school year, and I hope that everyone had a fabulous first day of meetings and planning with your colleagues yesterday. Uh, I wanted to just take a few minutes this morning to go over some information and expectations for the next few weeks. As you know, we have a unique opportunity as we begin this school year with an extended preparation period from August 31st, yesterday through September 17th. Um, during these days, educators will have district-wide and school-based professional development, individual, school-based, department-based, and district-wide grade-level meeting and planning time, and time to complete necessary professional responsibilities. So each week, just a little bit about how this will work so that everyone knows what to expect. Each week, you'll receive the schedule for the following week. So for example, last Thursday, Superintendent Skipper sent out a schedule for this week, and it included Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, in addition to that weekly schedule, I will send a daily schedule every evening for the next day that includes all the links to the district meetings. Meetings for a specific school or department um, meetings will come directly from your principal or other school leaders. So sometimes the daily schedule may be slightly different than the schedule that you received the week before. So please refer to each day's daily schedule for the most up-to-date plans because sometimes there's small tweaks um, that, that occur. Okay, so the professional development topic, topics for this opening period were carefully chosen to help you feel confident and prepared to teach in a whole new way in a very scary and challenging time. Some of the PD will be provided by external partners such as Facing History uh, and the Riverside Trauma Center. Some of the PD will be led by internal experts, including administrators, teachers, and other educators. And some of the PD will be independent and self-guided. Um, as you review the PD schedule each week, you may notice that some of the PD sessions were also offered over the summer. We often use summer PD as an incubator for PD during the school year. Instructors try out their ideas and gather feedback from participants to improve and strengthen their, their presentations for a wider audience. So even if you engaged in some of the uh, professional development over the summer, I'm sure you'll still find new learnings and you'll be able to take something away from each PD opportunity. As you might imagine, providing PD for hundreds of educators who are all in different places is a little bit of a challenge, uh, but we think and we hope uh, that we've created a, a system and a plan that will work. So many of the PDs begin with a presentation of content, similar to what you might do in your classroom, like a lecture style. Uh, and then what we've done is we've built in time after each presentation for small group discussion and application. So sometimes, uh, like today, for example, you um, the small group discussion and application may be done in grade bands so that you can discuss the content with others who teach students in similar grades. Uh, other times, the application and discussion may be done in school-based teams or even done independently. Um, and and that, that discussion piece will come when you meet with other colleagues. So, okay, this is very important. For each session, you should be thinking, how can I take this content and apply it to my work with my students so that all students can thrive in a remote setting. So I'm gonna say that again. How can I take this content and apply it to my work with students so that all students can thrive in a remote setting? So that applies really to all educators, not just classroom teachers. Um, so if you use that guiding question, frame each PD, it will help you to get the most out of these experiences. Uh, and speaking of getting the most out of these experiences, engaging in PD from our individual spaces is certainly a new experience. And so we thought it would be worthwhile to discuss a few norms and reminders for how we engage with one another. So just like when we are in person, we ask that all educators stay engaged and on task. Uh, I'll speak for myself. I'll just speak for myself and admit that it's way too easy at home to be distracted by any number of things. Uh, like the four-year-old running around or the, the newborn baby crying or the pile of laundry, or in my case, 
the refrigerator that keeps calling my name. Uh, I'm eating so many snacks. Um, so, you know, it's, it's easy enough to get those distractions. So figure out what works for you to minimize distractions and stay focused during our work together. Please remember to maintain a respectful learning space. Um, so collaborating virtually may feel very different than being in person, but the same principles for working together still apply. So respect silence, practice active listening, avoid interrupting, and most important, please be aware of your own personal airtime. Um, and please keep track of the time. So this goes for everyone. We need to do a really good job uh, of making sure that we start and end meetings on time and we make sure we're all getting frequent screen breaks so that we're not sitting in a chair and staring at a screen for hours upon hours. So just remember to take care of yourself and your needs, okay? All right, this next one's super important. Make the most of your time. I can't emphasize this one enough. Uh, there's plenty of planning and work time, both collaborative with colleagues and individual, built into the schedule. Please, 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 please make sure you make the most of your time by doing the things that you need to do to prepare yourself and your virtual classroom or office for when students return. So when creating this schedule for these 12 days, uh, we didn't want to fill every single minute with tasks only to leave you feeling like, great, that was a lot of fun, but I didn't actually have any time to do my work. And now I still have so much to do. We've all been there. We've all know that feeling like you're in this great PD and you're like, and now I have no time to apply it, right? So please use the times in the schedule. Use the application times, the work blocks to do the work you actually need to do. So set up your Google Classroom, practice making breakout rooms in Zoom, organize your class lists into small groups, create and organize instructional videos, do all the things in the time allotted, do all the things <laughs> so that you can feel prepared at the end of this prep period. Okay. Um, and finally, um, please be flexible and understanding uh, that some things might not go 100% smoothly. If you don't have a link to a meeting or the technology for a PD presentation isn't working quite right, I want to personally thank you in advance for your understanding and patience because we're all learning and trying these new things together. And I know that you'll approach this time with grace. So I'm confident that we are all doing our best <laughs> and I appreciate your kindness as we work out whatever bumps in the road we encounter. So lastly, I just wanted to clarify a few things about PD in general beyond these opening days. So like in all years, schools and departments will have PD on Wednesday afternoons after school. And additionally, all educators, uh, paraprofessionals and teachers must complete 12 hours of PD that you will choose from a district provided catalog. So the after school PD schedule and the district catalog of choice PD will be shared in the coming week. But I wanted to be clear that these opening days are additional professional development above and beyond our regular PD. So they do not count toward the 12 school and department based hours and they don't count toward the 12 choice hours, they're additional. So my hope for the next three weeks is that all educators get what they need in order to make this a successful year with students. At the end of each week, I'll be sending uh, a brief survey that asks about what resources and training you still uh, need to feel confident and prepared for teaching remotely. If you know me, I will. we will use the data. So please, please, please take that opportunity to share any ideas that you might have in regards to development and how we can continue to support all of our educators to be successful. Okay. Uh, I know that this year will have its fair share of challenges. Uh, after all, it is still 2020, so who knows what to expect. Um, but if there is anyone who can rise to the challenge of completely transforming their profession, it is educators. Uh, we are professionals, we work hard, we work together, and most importantly, we will do anything that we need to do to support one another and our students. So with that, I want to thank you for all that you do. I wish you a wonderful school year. And uh, as a reminder, the PD Guiding Principles for Remote Learning will begin at 8.15. Um, so please make sure to click the link on the schedule that I sent out last night. All right. If you need anything over these coming weeks and beyond, you can always feel free to reach out. And I look forward to working together. Thank you so much.